All right, time to start the mad stages. I know I don't have many people who are still watching these, but let's do this. Dr. Mad. And in traditional Mega Man inspired game fashion, he pulls up in his little UFO and glares at us. And then we go to fight his fortress. Which is actually pretty BA, as you can see right here. Let's do this. Level 1. And here is where I start loving the music. Alright, now Lightning Flash is fairly useful in this stage, but I'm gonna need to use it on the bosses, which, by the way, have I mentioned that I love this game's Wily boss, Mad bosses? I've always liked the Fortress bosses more than anything else. So here are those platforms, and unfortunately since the next room is vertical, we can't cheese past them with the beetle jet. Right. You know, thinking about the beetle jet, how Forest Man summons beetles and everything, he reminds you kind of old Dalwa from Majora's Mask. Kind of weird, but you know, whatever. Woo! Thankfully, this room is not nearly as irritating as Jetman stage was. Ladders. A lot of the enemies you can skip right past, except for these suckers, but, you know, whatever. Now, here are those mentals I told you about that haven't mastered the don't get up if you're being shot at strategy. More red, I see. And here are more of those irritating- oh hey, free life! This room is sort of fiery based, as you can probably guess. I suspect that... Yeah, those enemies are so much easier with this lightning bolt. And now I'm gonna stop using the lightning weapon because... If I recall correctly, not only is there not very much stage left, but also I'm about to fight the boss. Oh wait, yeah, there's this one last room with a bunch of movie platform thingies. See? Movie platform thingies. Kinda based on the one from Mega Man 6, I think. And there's my brother being... Excuse me a second. Alright! Now then. I can probably spam the light- stand and spam the lightning flash some more. The bosses- yep, I just said bosses. Really have about half a life bar each, so... It's not really going to be much of a problem to deal with them. Hmm. On the other hand, I don't think it's actually possible to defeat them- to, to, to hurt them at all without their weaknesses. So, you know, that's something to think about. I really hate bosses like that. They were one of the many reasons I really dislike Mega Man 2. Don't have a weapon? Whoops! Doesn't matter how good you are, you're dead. Especially since, you know, you don't actually get any warning of the fact beforehand and have to discover entirely by trial and error that that is the only way to beat them. And it's not really like there's much of a way to get life past a certain point, so, you know, weapons, whatever. Now, I could go down there and get that energy tank, but, you know, since I don't really care about energy tanks this playthrough, all right. Gotta kill at least one, so... Just because I can. Now, to fight two bosses whose names I don't know, so I've named... Actually, I haven't named them anything. One of them is a lancer. She's golden and flies. The other one is a blader. She uses what appears to be a sort of variant on the cutter ability from the Kirby game, as well as just throwing ones at you. As you can see... Crap. Yeah, if you don't know how to fight them, they will quit fight pulverize you fairly quick. Lit. I really hate starting games up levels over. All right, I'm not gonna tom it much here. I'm gonna rush through real quick. I might just speed this part up because I'm sure you guys don't want to see the same part over again. Apparently there was actually a different song for this level, and I seem to recall it because I can remember both of them when I look them up, but they changed it in an update and the original is hard to find, so, you know, I don't know. Yep. 
I really hate those things! I mean, seriously, I don't know why, but dive bombers are just really, really irritating for me. Here's those vigilant sentinel tools. That enemy is literally the only reason these things are even irritating to fight at all. Probably a good idea to land in the middle here for anyone who actually plans on playing, by the way. As you can see, like mo just like back in Volcano Man stage, those enemies are not barely all that hard to rush. Also, yay for power-ups. You know, it's times like these when I think about a room I had trouble with that's coming up and realize that I can easily cheese this room, if I recall correctly. Nope! Okay then, time to switch to plan B, it looks like. Luckily you can still jump and shoot when using that other weapon, so... You know, it's not like I have mobility troubles like in some of the Mega Man games. Alright, so... Beetle Jet as much as possible across this room. Or, you know... Do that. Alright. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Yes! Hmm. It is weird how bright it gets. I wonder if that's my camera adjusting or something. Woo! Pray for Beetle Jet. Well, half a video in, and I've only just reached the first boss again. So, let's do this. Now then, there's a simple strategy. In general, it's best to just try and kill one as quickly as possible and hope that they can't kill you. But, you can usually predict what the other one's going to do, because they're either going- they each have only two attacks. The saw one will either shoot up, I mean jump up, which means she's going to aim for you, or just throw in your general direction. The lightning one will do the ramming thing either from the ground or the sky. And they- and she is only susceptible to the lightning flash. This one is only susceptible to, um, the rolling ring. Now, as you can see, she's not nearly as difficult to fight alone, as, and in my opinion, a lot easier than the other one to fight alone, really. So, do we have enough time to tackle Fortress Stage 2? Probably not! I might even have to cut in the middle of a video, something I haven't had to do before in this playthrough. Now then. Also, favorite song in the game, right here. Well, one of them. Hmm. Now, this means that the lightning flash and rolling ring are no longer needed to defeat bosses. Which makes, as you can probably guess, playing through easier. Who knew the lightning enemies would be super weak to the lightning attack? Sure is nice while these enemies- oh god. Okay, this room may remind callback memories to Mega Man 4 or Mega Man 6. The crushers all over the ceiling has become a somewhat Mega Man staple in some places, really. Now, I probably shouldn't be wasting ammo for this, but honestly, this weapon has so much ammo that I really don't even care. Oh, God. Okay. If you cause that, you might be a little screwed. So, you better hope to God that you can get through here on the Beetle Jet, which I have actually never done and hope that it's actually possible. Well, nope. I don't like this level at all. This level is generally extremely evil. And the slowdown is really not making me feel any better here. I'm just going to use the Mega Buster because as fast as that Volcano Cannon does, it's really not helpful when I need it for the boss. Oh, wait a minute. I'll probably get a weapons power up on the way, though, so what do you know? Let's just use it. I'm going to be a little bit more careful with the second group this time, though. That was pretty dumb of me. 
You know, that's just grand. Come on. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thankfully, continuing puts you at the back of this stage and not the entire fortress, like in most games. I really do like this game's color scheme after all those red levels. Although red is not in fact absent from this level, as we will soon discover. Two lives, technically three, but... Really sick of this goddamn slowdown. Now that room is over. Oh, right. If I recall correctly, and I have used that phrase so much, this room has bunnies! They return and die in one hit from the lightning weapon, thank god. This room is another evil room. Do you remember the volcano room from Volcano Man Stage, which contains lava slash molten metal slash I don't really care? Well, this room has the same thing except with spikes, which are even more irritating because they're also appearing at random throughout the room. Luckily, if you know what to do, it's not too hard. As in his part, is just a plain rush to the end and don't jump too high, which I'm perfectly cool with. I have missed this jump before. It's a really embarrassing way to die. And hey, guess what? Just like the lava room. Woo, 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 woo. Oh, bye, slow down. Anyway. I think there are more bunnies in here. Thank God for lightning, the anti-bunny. As usual, they continue their trend of putting things across pits. Now this is probably really dumb of me to try and go the right way, but... Come on. Yes! Mega Man has this weird thing in all the games, so it got carried over here, where when you fall off screen, you suddenly start going super faster. Also, the water is purple, which is probably a throwback to a certain game, I recall. Now, there are two ways to go through this room. You can just beetle jet through it, but that's probably a bad idea because that happens. S reasons not to beetle jet through here. That. How I mentioned that lightning is literally the most useful weapon in the game, no questions asked. Because it is, as you've probably seen from me abusing it so much. And I'm really glad they decided to put the boss weak to it in the first level, which is not really all that problematic. Hey look, free life. Get over here, you little son of a... Alright, now, these platforms... Oh, and here, what do you know, since there's less slowdown here, you can see why... How fast they were supposed to go, so if you want, which you probably don't, you can go back and watch the lightning man view and go, Wow, that really was some bad slowdown, wasn't it? Now, lightning makes this room, thankfully, much easier, because, well, it's lightning. It is pure love. For the longest time, I wondered what the purpose of those enemies really was, considering they can't really bother you when they're completely out of your way, but once I tried to beetle jet through here, it all became clear. Also, as you may notice, jumping here is probably a bad idea. I sure do love enemies that respawn right after you kill them. <laughs> ah, the boss door in the floor technique that has become rather popular as of late. So, let's do this. You ready for this boss battle? You ready for this? I am a giant fish, just like a certain boss from Mega Man 9. However, he has multiple parts to destroy, which makes this boss fight actually quite interesting. And also relatively easy, to be honest, because you can just launch his weakness at him, and it even does the effect of stopping some of his attacks for you. Also note, 
Always let the boss hit you if there's a chance of between hitting, getting hit by the boss or getting hit by spikes. I know that seems obvious, but sometimes you'll not be thinking and it'll happen. And just because I can, I will finish him off with the buster. And we're over 15 minutes. So I'll see you all next time. So, as you can see, level 3 starts.